popcorn. You're gonna use it to cook. Chef, I know you don't want to hear this, but you know in my head, I'm saying, please don't sell out. Please don't sell out. <laughs> I can't wait. And everybody, and I'll tell you this mm. too, all of our chefs in our kitchen here at HSN were like, that's impressive. It's that is very impressive. I've never seen it before. <laughs> all right, we have about, I can't see how many are left, like three or 400. If you want to order that, uh, grab it. Uh, we are in a brand new hour, everybody. I'm your host, Guy. It's good to see you. Hi, Facebook friends. Love you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this hour is all about what I would call, it's, the end of the hour is going to be about preparation and being prepared. And the beginning of the hour is going to be more about maybe protecting your identity. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about with that in just a sec. But first, I want to talk about the EcoFlow uh, uh, Tech River 2. This is the top of the line in the River Series. And I don't know if you have one. I have an EcoFlow at my house. I don't know how I lived without it. It's a backup battery supply. It's a generator. You'll notice it's missing some things. Well, it doesn't have a place to put gas in it because it's not a gas generator. All right, this is an electric generator that is going to save your bacon when the power goes out. You can plug lights into this, fans into this, AC into this. Uh, you can plug refrigerators. You can do all kinds of great things that you can plug into this. It's loaded with different plugs. So if you just need a fan to get through the night when the power goes out, if you need lights, if you're a camper, I bring mine outside. All holiday season, all my Christmas lights on my golf cart were lit with my EcoFlow. Anyway, we're doing a special sale. You can get it without the solar panel for $4.49. That's about half what I paid. Or you can get it with the solar panel for $6.49. It's a 110 watt solar panel, which means even if it's a long period of no power, you can put the panel outside, because you know the sun always comes out after a storm, and you can recharge it. There's other ways to recharge it as well, but it will recharge in about, what's it, about 80 minutes? 70 minutes. 80% recharge in just about an hour. That's coming up in a bit, and I don't have a lot of those to go around. But I want to get started with HP. So I have owned sh uh, two shredders in my life. My, uh, the shredder I have now is an HP. I had a different shredder. I had it for probably nine years, and I absolutely loved it. I never knew I needed one. And the reason I bought one, my first shredder, I had so much crappy junk mail every day. I would get three or four things that were not addressed to me, but you know, owner, occupant, whatever. And I'd be like, I don't need that stuff. That's advertising, I don't need it. Not only that, I would have bank statements and things like that sitting on my counter. And I was like, I need to get rid of this stuff. What about old tax returns? All right, the government warns you, all right? And they say, please shred valuable private documents. If you don't think there are people out there, what we call dumpster divers, looking for credit card numbers, looking for social security numbers, looking for banking information, they are out there. Not only that, it'll help you get rid of your credit cards. It will go through staples in addition to that. You could put 10 sheets at a time into here. One sheet of paper will be chopped into a thousand pieces. Think about that. Nobody's going to put that back together. It's not strip shedding, shredding, all right? It's not the old school. It's teeny tiny little pieces. I love that it has a viewing window because most of them don't. That way you can see when it's getting full. You have packing material to utilize. So if you recycle, you'll love that. I think the best feature of all, if you have a lot of stuff to shred, you can put up to 120 sheets in the document feeder. And those are shredded while you're just doing something else, having a cup of coffee. We put it on sale, $30 off. It's $129.99. It comes from HP, which is our number one brand when it comes to uh, computers and things like that. We love HP. So who better suited to create a wonderful printer? Four and a half gallon bin, three colors. I have it in, three colors left. I've got it in, I'm gonna go with indigo. Right? I'm going to go with this one. I am going to call this, what are we calling this one? This one maybe? Or no? Mulberry. And then that one is teal. Let me introduce you to my special guest, Aaron Berger, who I have not seen since New Year's. Good to see you, Happy my friend. Happy New Year, buddy. Good Happy to see you, New too, Year, bro. always. So Aaron is at the top of the end of all of our electronics, guys. All right? He's been with us so, so many years. I've known him for years and years and years. And I trust you. And you know, I bought my last HP shredder when you demoed it. Yeah. Because I was like, I hadn't had one in a while. My old one finally died after nine years, which was a good deal. Long time. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I've got an HP printer. 
I got all kinds of other HP stuff. I'm gonna get their shredder. I love it. I just want to show you guys. There's a couple of things about this shredder in particular that are so con that make it so convenient. The first is there's this manual tray in the front. Okay, so you've seen me. I just took two pages and folded them in half. So that's like putting four pages through. You can put up to ten pages through at the same time. So that's number one. Super convenient. But what's more important than that? This is what changes everything on this shredder. There's a lot to talk about because it's super powerful and really easy to use. This has an auto document feeder. So just like the highest end printers, like Guy said, HP is the number one manufacturer of computers and of printers in America. They are the place that we go for, um, for office supplies and for office um, machinery. This has an auto doc feeder just like a really high end printer would. So what it means is your medical records, your credit card statements and offers, your financial information. You don't have to babysit it and one thing at a time, two, no. Utility bills, tax documents over seven years, all of those things that like Guy said, not just Guy and I recommend shredding for your peace of mind, but the federal government says, look, if you want to protect yourself, and as we go into a new year, this is something that's on so many of our minds as we get into tax season. There's a lot of things around the house with our names on it and with our addresses on it, sometimes with our financial information on it. This is what the, again, the federal government says. There are many steps consumers can take to minimize their risk of being an identity theft. Identity is stolen in many ways. For example, one of the biggest ways you can reduce that uh, theft is by closely guarding your social security numbers and, this is key, shred charge receipts, shred copies of credit applications, and shred other sensitive documents. And when it is this easy to do, you will really do it. That's sort of what's key here. Again, one of the many ways the FTC recommends to help protect your identity is number one, shred sensitive documents. Boom. Yep. Number two, shred receipts, credit card offers, credit applications, insurance forms, physician statements, checks, banks, they, all that kind of stuff, and other similar documents. Let's get back. I want to show you a couple more things live, and then we'll sort of go through when to shred things. One other quick demonstration from the beginning here. This is beautiful micro-cut shredding. So it is super, super fine and thin shredding, which is important because other shredders sometimes leave chunks that are kind of big enough um, for thieves to go through, frankly, and get information. Also, I just put three staples in that piece and it goes right through seamlessly. While you're shredding in the back. That's a key, while I'm auto doc shredding, and I, I will in just a minute show you how easily credit cards can go in here as well, but I'm gonna give Guy a chance to update you. When I started with this shredder about a week ago, we had six colors. Starting today, we have the three most popular colors left, and that's it. Once they are gone, they are gone. If you want mulberry, I've got about 130 left. A couple hundred in the teal. I'm okay I'm the, in the, uh, in that uh, teal, or that's the teal. That's the teal, mm -hmm. and that's, I think, indigo, right? And the indigo. How am I in the indigo? I'm okay? Good. Well, that's the color I would want, right? That's, that's a beautiful color. I think I got my mind, my, mine is in white, but you can get, those colors are, are gone. I actually like the darker color. Yeah, nice. I really do, because it's, it's less conspicuous. And by the way, they are on caster wheels. And, and the reason they do that, first of all, is because some people may want to move this out of the room when they're not using it, right? Because be, I use mine probably, to be honest, every day. Every time I get mail, I pop it right in. I have mine kind of underneath where the bar is, and I just slide it out and I put it in. That's one of the reasons we put it on wheels, because it's not light. You got to realize the, the gearing in this is heavy duty. It's got to go through a paper and metal and plastic, so it's very heavy duty, and they want it to last a long time. So that's why they put it on wheels, so you can move it around. You can put it in a closet if you, if you do your shredding once a week. But here's the thing. First of all, I find it, I find it very stress relieving. Like when I'm shredding, like even Danny loves it. Danny's right? like, hey, I'll do that. Feels good. Yep. Well, because we love chopping things into little bitty pieces. I was very primal. <laughs> but the point is, I know every time I do that, Aaron, I'm protecting myself. Yeah. Every time I put something in there, all right? You're like, well, what else can I shred? Do you take any kind of medications? Do you get that little piece of paper stuck to your medicine bottles? Because that's what they do now. They actually stick it there. Has your name, your dosage, what you're taking. I don't want anybody to know that. Right. I mean, I've been taking uh, blood pressure medicine for probably 15 years. It's in my family, right? So I have to take it. But I want everybody to know that other than you 7 million people. Right. But that's okay because I love you and I know you. But, I mean, you, you get the point. It could be something because a lot of people take blood pressure medication, but it could be something very private. Whatever it is. That you yeah. don't want to share with other people. The last thing you want is for everybody in the neighborhood, and, and more than that, everybody who 
might want to steal your personal information and sure. use it in some way, you want to just get rid of all of that. Again, the federal government recommends it. We recommend it. Uh, when you have HP and you've got this kind of value to get home a shredder that you can really, really depend on, that's so easy to use, this is a great day to do it. It's a great New Year's resolution. A lot of us, I know, made a resolution to be more organized, right? To clean things up a little bit, to bust the clutter. This is a way that feels great. I want to show you a couple things and mention two key things that set this apart. Number one, it comes fully assembled. So like you just said, the gear assembly and all of that at the top, they're pretty heavy. In, in, in uh, total this way, it's just under 20 pounds. It's all put together when it comes in your door. So you open the box and you plug it in. I think that's a really, really nice yeah. thing. The other thing, and this is probably different than any shredder you've ever seen, this does not require any ongoing maintenance. It does not require oil sheets. Really? You don't have to put oil sheets through this. You don't have to oil it or maintain it in any way. So there's no mess, there's no expense, and there's no hassle. It is the easiest way you'll ever find to do something you're supposed to be doing. You know, most things you're supposed to do, whether it's lose weight or uh, run a virus check on our computer, whatever. There are pain. This is not a pain. This is just very, very simple to do. I'll even take credit cards to check it out. Aaron, it's super smart. It is. I mean, it's listen, just a good idea. We've had a couple of hosts here. I won't tell you who, oh, yeah. but we had a couple of hosts. Um, actually, Marla doesn't mind us Marla, talking about yeah, it. Marla talk. talk. And she had a, an identity theft issue many years ago, and she dealt with it for two years. She did. That poor girl, who I love, dealt with that for two years, and it's not fun. They ask you to do this, they ask you to do that. I mean, it's so difficult. Then you gotta deal with your banks, then you gotta deal with the government. It's not fun. And a lot of that happens just from dumpster diving. It happens from leaving stuff around you don't realize. There are a lot of ways people can get it. A lot of people do it really offline, right? But still, there are people, I can put the handle of a shovel out on the curb. In my house, it'll be gone in an in hour. a second, right? It's so, and I'm like, I can put junk out the well, one's man's trash, is another man's treasure. And I'm okay with that. Most of those people are wonderful people, they want to recycle things, and I love that. But there are people out there, unbeknownst to you, when you put your garbage out on the curb at night, because that's what we do, that will come there at four in the morning and they just walk by and they'll take the whole garbage bag and stick it in their car. And they're like, why not? If there's a chance I can get the last four of this guy's social, or if I can get some credit card numbers, or just some other information, you know? It, it could be a variety of things. And I'm not trying, yeah, I guess I'm trying to scare you a little just because, listen, I'm not a famous person, yeah, I'm on TV, but I don't consider myself a famous person, but there are people out there who are non-do-gooders that would try to take something from me oh, or from absolutely. you. absolutely. And, and, it's, and it's just part of life. So what we're saying is, this is a way to combat that. Not only that, it's a way to recycle. Do you realize that if you took a dozen sheets of paper and crumpled them in a ball and threw them in a garbage can, they take about that much space. If you put a dozen sheets of paper in here, it would take up about that much space. In fact, Aaron, yeah, you a, look at, show them what's inside there. So this, in fact, I'm gonna ask you to hold this for me for just a sec, buddy, because yeah. I, I do want to show you guys what's in here. Again, this is a micro cut shredder and there's a couple of advantages to having micro cuts. They are smaller, finer cuts. And one of the advantages the guy just mentioned is they it takes up less room because each particle has less air between it than yeah. a bigger cut would. It takes up significantly less room in your garbage. Garbage, so you, you don't have to um, uh, dump it as often, right. better in a landfill or recycling or all of that. I also want to show you, I'm just going to pop this in here and show yeah. you, it has a really, really easy way to empty it. This is so smart. It's like the, oh like the, the really expensive vacuum cleaners. Mine doesn't have yeah. that. Yeah, this is a new feature. It's this auto dump uh, feature. And look at everything that's inside here. That's where it goes. And by the way, that is the best packing material you will ever find. So if you're shipping anything to friends or family, you will love this stuff. Your kids would probably just love to play with it or your grandkids because look at how beautiful that is. But we've probably got, I don't know how many sheets of paper uh, are in I'm, here. I would guess I've shredded 50, 50 60, 60, 70 sheets in the, in the last and couple of at, minutes. Yep. Look at how little space it takes up. So that's another fe a wonderful feature uh, that, that you have built into it as well. I love the peace of mind. I love the fact that it doesn't stay on. It's automatic. It has a reverse of so something does get jammed in yep. there. You know what's, and this is funny, because you know what got jammed in one? Huh. I, uh, I got a piece of junk mail. Unbeknownst to me, they put a nickel in it. It was Surprise. like, oh, here, we'll pay you five cents. Yeah, it was clever. a nickel or a dime. Yeah. And that got stuck, sure. but you can reverse it oh, out yeah. if it it's gets stuck. E yeah. Very, very easy to just, you can pop it open, you can reverse stuff out. There's a forward, there's a reverse. Yeah. Last thing I want to do, we're going to put up a 30 second countdown clock. This is a really, really fast shredder, probably the fastest one we've ever done. Here we go. So, how many sheets can I do in uh, 30 seconds? That's one, that's two. Your tax documents are out of here. Your junk mail, three, is out of here. Four, that's a blank page, that's out of here, two. Five, your personal information is gone. I've got 
about 21 seconds left. Six, your medical records. Seven, your credit card statements and offers. Eight, your financial information. We're about halfway through. Nine, utility bills are gone. 10, again, your tax documents after seven years. We've got seven seconds left. 11, junk mail might hit a world record here. 12, another blank piece of paper. We'll say 13. We'll stop it on personal information. About 13 shreds in 30 seconds. It's one of the fastest, it's one of the most powerful, and it's one of the most affordable shredders we've ever done from HP. No maintenance required, no oil sheets required, comes fully assembled, and it completely obliterates your personal information because it's a full micro cut. Even credit cards, even staples, you can get rid of those too. If you're trying to cut your credit cards with a, with a pair of scissors, first of all, you're gonna ruin the scissors, but not only that, people will find that stuff, all right? Look, he just pops it right in and you're good to go while he's shredding. If you wanna get it, get a brand new HSN credit card today, and not only will we take $30 off the HSN deal price, we'll take another $40 off, making it $89. That's a better price than I got mine for with my corporate discount. Get it home, you will absolutely love it. It really is, it's just a smart purchase. And you feel, you feel like a little less stressed. Because it's fun to it's fun to shred stuff. It feels good. I love shredding. We stuff. like to tear things up. Thank you for coming in, my good friend. Good to see you all. I know we got this in at the last minute, yeah, but Aaron it's good came to be here to help good us to be out. Eight four two zero six six is the item number. Hey, we're having our first big sale of the year. Uh, it's coming up. I, when does it start? Tomorrow. Oh, it's going on already. Oh, I was off. So, all right. So it's already going on, and you'll notice a lot of our sale prices. But if you'd like to catch more stuff, you can always go to hsn.com and check out all the goodies that we have there. You can order our today's special, a variety of other things. Look for the red. Lots of free shipping and handling, and five flex pay on everything. So you will enjoy uh, shopping. Remember, a lot of people were real smart, and they waited until after the holidays to get stuff for themselves because we they know we do a lot of discounting, and good for you. Take advantage of those. All right. We are going to take a quick break. What we've got coming up is an EcoFlow. It's your battery power coming up. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Finally, there's a night that's made for some serious you time. Finally, you can celebrate making it through the week with all the retail therapy you need. Finally, there's a night to connect, relax, laugh, and indulge in everything fabulous. And finally, there's a time to pour your favorite beverage, slip into your coziest chair, and join all the fun. Finally, it's Friday. Watch Finally every Friday night starting at 6, only on HSN. We use goat milk because we had it, and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. Life happens, and when it does, HSN Protection Plus powered by Allstate Protection Plans, is there to make you good again, quick and easy. HSN Protection Plus offers a standard plan to cover your purchases from breakdowns during normal use, as well as mechanical or electrical failures. You can also add the Accident Plan Plus to cover accidental damage for portable electronics like tablets or headphones. Plans are available for a wide variety of products, including electronics, small appliances, fitness equipment, furniture, mattresses, jewelry, and lawn and garden items. All plans cover parts and labor with no deductibles or hidden fees. Allstate's award-winning service team will get you back up and running fast by repairing, replacing, or reimbursing you for your damaged item up to the purchase price. Adding HSN Protection Plus powered by Allstate Protection Plans to your purchases is easy. You can do it online at checkout or ask your customer care rep while making a purchase over the phone. Dad, hi everybody, I'm Guy, if you're just joining us. Uh, my dad, uh, who's, who's uh, long since passed, but wonderful guy, uh, 
He was one of those guys that, that told us as kids, you know, listen, always be prepared. You never know when something's going to happen. My dad, we always had meat in the freezer. He had like 10 gallon jugs of water in the basement. And as kids, we'd be like, yeah, like we're ever going to drink that old water. But I'll tell you, we would get snowstorms and we would lose power. We always ate well. We always, we always drank well. He had a little propane gas stove so that we could heat our food. I mean, it was unbelievable. And we would all, and of course, dad to the rescue, right? Uh, the problem is a lot of people don't do that. And what happens when the power goes out is we're all kind of stuck. We're out there lighting matches, trying to light candles and things like that. What if I told you there was a way, and it's a company called EcoFlow. And I'll tell you, this is the first airing of this EcoFlow. And you know EcoFlow, right? We have EcoFlows that are two, $3,000. We finally have an EcoFlow, and it's called the River Pro. That is an affordable one, under $700, with the solar panel that is going to power up your lights, your fans. You got an electric fry pan, your coffee maker, your toaster. It does so many different things that you can plug right into it and use for hours and hours while you are uh, going without power. I own one of these. I, I bought mine. Mine, I got uh, probably about three years ago. I paid, I think, eleven dollars or $1,200 for mine. So they can be very expensive. And I didn't even get solar. You can actually recharge this with solar. You can actually plug it in, recharge it that way too. All right, there's several ways you can charge it. It'll recharge itself in about an hour, like an hour and 10 minutes, up to about 80% full power. So you will never be without power, all right? Lots of great features that we wanted to get into. It is the most compact and lightweight of all of our EcoFlows. Mine weighs about 37 pounds. This one only weighs 17 pounds. So I love this for my senior customer out there that says, you know what? There's no power, but honey, we can make coffee. We can make toast, bagels. Right? We can put on a fan. We can keep ourselves cool. We can turn on lights. You could do all that. So here's what I'll tell you. Our discount today is $150 off the unit without the solar. It's, what is it? It's $330 off if you get the solar panel. The solar panel allows you, when the sun does come out, to use it to recharge it. The shipping and handling is free. Kyle, before I introduce uh, Justin, can I go through the, way, the flex pay real quick? I'm going to do that first. So if you use your credit card, see that thing down there? It says five flex pay on everything. So you can do the math, all right, on the 400 and the 600. So it'll be about, I don't know, 80, 90 to 100 dollars a month, depending on, uh, no, not even less than that. No, five flex be about that. 90 without solar. 130 with, so I wasn't that far off. But if you get a new HSN credit card today, first of all, you get $40 in your account, which will drop those prices. If you already have a, an account with us, you can do what we call VIP financing, okay? If you get the unit with solar, uh, let me do it without solar. Without solar, it's $37.49 and, and for 12 months, okay? If you get it with solar, you get the 18 month, no interest, no, no fees, and it's $36 and change. What would you pay to have lights and food and heat, all that? What would you pay for that? I'd pay, I'd pay the $36 a month to be able to have that while everybody else is dark and cold and trying to find something to eat. I would love to have that. So we are including it. I think we're including the backpack as well. So if you want to take this with you, it's only 17 pounds, you can take this on a camping trip and now you can plug your coffee machine and have real fresh coffee and not have to build a fire to do that. All right, Justin Hyde is here, my man. It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. You know, well, I think we did the first presentation of yeah. the year with EcoFlow. This is the first time that we're doing the actual River 2 Pro. And I think that's the big discerning thing. We're, all, we're doing all of the new versions of right. EcoFlow this year. Yep. We, did, uh, we did the River 2 Max, I believe it was uh, a couple weeks ago. This is the River 2 Pro. So the big discerning difference here is the batteries that are inside of this. This is gonna last you not five years, 10 years. 10 years you're gonna be able to have this in your life where it is going to be, when we think about New Year's resolutions, we're thinking about getting healthier, we need to start thinking about protecting ourselves and our family. Just recently we just had this amazing storm all the way up from the tip of Florida, all the way up to New York City. Tornadoes here in Florida in the beginning of the year, that's not something that happens. You have to start to think about how do we protect ourselves, how do we plan, 
plan. And then, as Guy was saying, it's manageable power. It's not just easy power, but it's manageable power. This is 17 pounds. It's one of our lightest weights, one of our most affordable, and one of our newest. This is still going to power 80% of your home appliances. And the best part about it is, yeah, you get to use it inside of your home, not having to worry to go outside, not having to worry about gas, not having to worry about propane. And when it's manageable and it's lighter weight, now you can feel the confidence that I can take it from room to room. And so when we say 80%, what does that mean to you? Well, I want you to see, when, one of the things that we sh when we show on the River 2 Pro is that sometimes it'll have two AC outlets. This has one, two, three, four, three-prong individual AC outlets. One of the things, if you've never seen EcoFlow before, is this beautiful display. It shows you every bit of information that you need to see. It's not guessing. This isn't something when you plug it in, well, I don't know how long it's going to run a light for. It's actually going to show you. We have the DC adapter right here as well. And for the very first time, we would often say that you can charge this three different ways, right? You have solar, you have AC, and you have DC. For the first time ever, you have a fourth option. You can now use this USB-C port to now recharge this power station. One of the things that you were talking about, Guy, was 70 minutes to recharge it, you were saying 80%. That's what we've always said. Now it's 70 minutes from zero to 100%. Really? And three and a half hours with 220 <sighs> watts of solar, you can charge this all the way up from zero to 100% wow. outside. So the th difference is, is, you know, when we have these larger power stations, uh, of course it takes longer it takes to charge, longer. Yeah. but with solar and now with AC and or even USB-C, it's gonna charge even faster. And one of the things I want you to see too is really, really nice handle on the very back, so it makes it really easy to pick up, and I'm gonna actually do that right now. This is where you plug it into the wall, this is where you plug it into solar and to DC. So that's what you have with those options. I'm going to carry this because I want you to see. We talk about manageable power. You just pick it up, you take it, and you carry it to where you want to go. I want to come over here to the refrigerator because, you know, we talk about planning stuff. There's things that we can plan for, but there's things that we can't plan for. We plan for the idea that at some point in time in our life, maybe in the next week or month and or year, we're going to be out of power. So what do you do with the ifs and the whens? We don't know when the power is going to go out. We don't know when the power is going to come back on. But as you can see, power starts to go out. Thunder starts to hit. We just simply go right over here. We plug in our refrigerator. Actually, I'm going to open it so you guys can see that there's no power right here. And then we just plug it in. You don't have to worry about, oh, do we have gas? Do we have oil? What happens to all of us who live in apartments and condos who can't own a gas generator, who can't own a propane generator? Something that weighs 17 pounds, going to be able to power up your refrigerator. And remember, I was telling you how long. So it's going to start to tell me right now. It's saying roughly about 51 51 watts, saying 12 hours for my refrigerator. Wow. I don't have to guess. I don't have to sit there and say, I don't know how long it's gonna run this for. It's gonna tell me right here. So all the food that I invested in because I planned for a storm or food that I bought and I had no idea a storm was gonna come, now you're prepared, now you're, for, now you're ready for when that happens. And you don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about, you know, we talked about it last time when, when I did uh, the other unit with, um, with Justin. A lot of times when there's storm, you can't even get out of your house. All right, we just had flooding here the other day. Yeah. I was lucky enough because the floods didn't hit me, but there's a place called Maritana that always floods. None of those people could get out of their houses. They had water, they had six inches of water out there. So how are you even gonna go out and get gas if you're out? Which means, and those generators go through gas pretty quickly, right? That's why we get, you have five or six extra gas cans. You never have to do that. When this runs out, you simply take it to a place where you can charge it, put it outside in the sun if you get the solar panel, or you can, uh, you can plug it into a vehicle because it's got DC, right? And you can charge it that way. Yeah. And for the first time, it's got the, uh, the C. The, the USB-C input. USB-C. So you have multiple ways to be able to do it. For me, and I'll, and I'll say it again, I would get the solar panel because your payment is less because we spread it out over six more months. So if you want to get it without the solar panel, it's $37.49. But if you get it with the solar panel, it's $36.11. It's a dollar less, about a little bit less than that, about 60 cents less. But the point is, you can go out and you can plug it in. And let me just tell you something, the solar panel is cool, right? Because it opens up, all right? And you just lay it out in the sun and you watch as it refuels your electric battery. And again, it's clean. There's no mess. Better off, there's no noise. I had, there was a hurricane that hit us a couple years ago, and you remember. Yeah. And I had to take my poor 90-year-old mother, her caregiver, all, and we went to, to high ground at a, a buddy, a Danny's buddy's house. And the generator was right outside where I was sleeping. It was awful. You can't sleep. No, you can't. I mean, it is like, it's like sleeping next to, I would even, it's even louder than a lawnmower. I mean, it is loud, a generator. Well, I think they're like 80 decibels. Yeah. This, it, when we talk, it's about like 60. So maybe it's <laughs> louder for a generator. Yeah, sure. Um, 
It's 30, this will run at 30 decibels, so it's whisper quiet. So a lot of times when we talk about medical devices, especially like CPAP machines, you'll notice that a lot of people use it right by their beds and use it inside of their tent. You know how many times you go to these campgrounds, the first big sign that you see when you go into that campground says at 10 p.m. you cannot run your generator anymore because nobody wants to be outdoors and listening and trying to sleep in an RV and or tent to a loud gas generator. And we often talk about obviously alternatives to gas and propane because that's always been the first thing that we think about. Well, when we are, we're out of power, what are we going to do? We get gas, we get propane. Oftentimes it's not even an option, not just a, not an option where you live, but physically it's not an option to be able to run a gas generator. But when you're out of gas, you can't run the generator. When you're out of power at home, you still now have an option to be independent and sustainable with your solar panel. So we got the 110 watt solar panel right here. You know, one of the things that we do a really, really good job of is these solar panels are not just something that's gonna be, you know, something that's glass and cumbersome, super lightweight weatherproof, you can leave this on the snow, you can leave it in the rain. So it's an alternative to this, because eventually when you're out of power, guess what? The gas station's out of power. You can't get gas, but now you have a way to continue to recharge your power station. And that's the nice thing about this, is when you're looking at this, and maybe you've never seen this before, because we've been doing EcoFlow now for what, four or five years? Yeah. This is one of the fastest recharge rate, in fact, the fastest recharge rate we've ever offered. You know, it's five times faster than industry standard, but often we'd say zero to 80% an hour. This is zero to 100% in 70 minutes. With a solar panel, with 220 watts of total solar input, now this is 110 watt, you can of course pick up another 110 watt solar panel that we have on .com, three and a half hours. That means that while you have this outside, in three and a half hours, it's gonna charge from zero all the way up to 100%. Now that could be on the balcony, this could be on the patio, wherever you decide, it could be out on the campground. Here's the other thing about having a solar panel. When you've got 110 watts, that means during the day, I could be using my solar panel in conjunction with my power station as a solar generator. So this is now gonna be powering my refrigerator. This is gonna power my lights. This is gonna power my fan. It's gonna bypass, convert all that solar energy into electricity, bypass it through my power station to whatever I got plugged in. So when we show you all the things that's gonna power up in this graphic really quickly, I want you to think about well, that means during the day, I can be running my lights via the sun. I can be running my television from the sun. I can run all of these different appliances without depleting the power from my power station. But then of course, look at all the different things that you use every single day. Maybe you use the CPAP machine every single day. Maybe you use a laptop or a computer. You work from home or you work remote. You don't want, and I, I always use what you say, because yeah, I, I, it's something you, you've ingrained in my head now. Do you want to survive or do you want to thrive? Yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> I mean, that was, hey, that was, that was like what my dad talked about. He was like, listen, we are eating well. We've got water. We've got power, right? We didn't have a generator like this, okay? Uh, which, we, you know, we had, my dad actually, when it was wintertime, he turned, we had a gas, he turned all the burners on and heat the house with the, with the stove, which is I not. I should do that with the stove. Yeah, but <laughs> that's not a real safe way to heat yeah. your house. You can, I, I mean, think about it, heating blankets, whatever it is you need to plug in there, there's a list of everything and you get all that information when you order it, but get it home. And none of the mess, none of the cleanup. Plus, this lives inside with you. Whether it's in your tent, in your camper, you could bring it outside on a nice day, right? If you want to put, maybe you're camping and you're like, hey, honey, look, I brought the blender. You can plug a blender in there and make frozen drinks at your, camp, at your campsite. You can plug hot plates, you can plug, uh, electric fry pans. You can do so many different things with it. Like I said, I, I used it, and it was funny, I used mine to put all the Christmas lights. I have a golf cart, because I got this little neighborhood where you can drive golf carts around. I put, it was amazing, because I never recharged it. I was like, I used it for like 30, 40 days. I, it was, and it was still like 80% full, because those are LED lights. LED lights. They're nothing. They're they not they incandescent heat, heat bulbs. Yeah, there's, that's exactly, so they're fantastic. But if you wanna, like I said, make your coffee in the morning, you wanna get your toasters running, you wanna get your microwave running, you want your refrigerator. I mean, think about it, we've, we've had storms here where if I actually had to take my food out of the freezer, you know, you, you suppose, and, the, and the worst part is they're like, well, keep it closed. It's like, yeah, but it's, stuff's melting in there. And if you can get an extra five, six, seven, eight hours out of your freezer, refrigerator, that's food you don't have to rebuy. And you may have $100, $200 worth of food in there, right? You've got steaks and all that stuff. So it really is, it's a smart thing to do. If you're a senior out there, I love this model for you for a bunch of reasons. One, it doesn't weigh 40 or 50 pounds. Yep. Well, the other ones are great, but they're, they're heavy. They're not as heavy as a regular generator, but they're still heavy. 
This one only weighs 17 pounds. So it's a, it's a generator for everybody, all right? And you will love that because you will, you know, if you still go on trips and you want to bring it in your RV or, you know, your camper, whatever, you'll love having the four extra plugs to plug your stuff into, right? The ability to, to recharge it right off your car battery because it's got the, it's got the DC input as well. All right, so several ways that you can recharge it. I'm gonna put some other things up that you can use this for, because I love all this stuff. So, as I said, if you've got a hot plate electric food warmer, you can use that. AC, you can plug that in, right? If you've got one of those little portable AC units. Air purifiers, so if you need purified air, you know, you're on a breathing machine or whatever, CPAP machine. Uh, um, induction uh, cooker, right, which is fantastic. A rice cooker, I had that in my last hour. You could use the microwave. Uh, a hair dryer, even a washing machine. Now, those, a lot of those are not things that you need to live, but a lot of the things that it does do are, all right? And I'm talking about providing comfort, providing warmth, providing light, all right? If it's the middle of summer and we get a hurricane here in Florida and the power goes out for eight hours, we're going we're gonna to absolutely cook inside our houses, right, without any electricity. A lot of people go and they'll spend... Five, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars on a generator that they can mount on the house. Good for you if you've got five, ten, or twenty thousand dollars. All right. A lot of those run on on propane. My neighbor Judy, who I love, she's got these big giant house next to mine, and she's got them. And you know they they run a test. Those things go on and off throughout the day because they got to make sure. And she's had more issues with that dang thing of repairmen coming to fix it. You never know when your when your gas generator is going to work. Right. If it's been sitting there for eight months, what if you left your lawnmower for eight months and tried to start it? What would happen? It wouldn't start. Well, how many times you see cars that sit, that sit they go to turn it on, it doesn't work. It's right. not just the dead battery. The engine hasn't run. And we got to think about the the fact that those generators are combustion engines. You know, I was at, I had my neighbor and he was out and I and I was like, you know, I thought he was going camping because it was it wasn't like there was hurricanes. It wasn't like a seasonal thing. I was like, what are you doing? And he's ex-military. He's macho man. He's like, I just got it out of storage. It's been sitting for two years. I try to get it to run and it won't run. Okay, yeah. well, can you imagine if he didn't test it to see if it was going to work, and then all of a sudden we were out of power and out of power for a week at a time, and then all of a sudden he's thinking, I, I bought this $1,000 generator, and now I actually need it after it's been sitting in a, uh, a storage unit for two years. And that's the other thing. You know, when you buy anything with EcoFlow, this is not something that's just for an emergency. It's not break glass in case of emergency. This is something you're going to be able to use year round, monthly, daily. You can use this as an emergency power source so that even when you're not home, if you work from home, or even if you're, you use it for your CPAP machine, or you put it connected to your fish tank and you leave home, this is going to act like an emergency power source, meaning when you have this plugged into the wall and a fish tank plugged into this, in 20 milliseconds, it's going to continue to power up that fish tank. So just think about all the different ways that you can use this and then take it with you. Because there is no gas, because there's no propane, it only weighs 17 pounds, take it tailgating. Take it to the hockey game, the football game, the soccer game, outside. And I want you to see this again. We talk about manage manageable things, peace of mind. It's peace of mind to have something like this. Ultimately, it's peace of mind to know you can use it and also that you can understand it to not feel intimidated by it. I got my light and my fan plugged in right now. It's telling me 31 watts, 98%, and then it's going to convert it into time. 13 hours. 13 hours that you can be able to run a light and a fan. You were talking about if eight hours or it's 120 degrees outside, it's going to be feel like 140 inside. Heat is one of the most deadly weather events you can experience. Well, obviously, we're in winter time. You're going to be able to keep yourself warm. You were just talking about rice cookers um, and induction burners. It's great that we show you those graphics. The fact that we get to show you in real time right here in the studio that I'm just going to actually, I've got my induction burner right here. I'm going to turn this up. You can cook your food. Yeah, having a refrigerator is great because we talk about sustaining life, sustaining power, sustaining our food and our water. Well, yeah, you want to be able to know that I can be able to cook and or have that food available, ready available for me. So we've got an induction burner. You can cook with this. You can be able to have hot food. That means it's not just keeping yourselves warm for with a blanket, but heating yourself up with food, you know, from the inside. So keeping medicine cool, keeping food cool, being able to have that cold, fresh water, filtered water, not out of the tap, and then be able to say, you know what, why don't we cook something? And then it's all these things that we're doing inside the studio, you get to do out of it. You get to do it out of your home, out of your kitchen, do it on the campground. And then yes, in a little bit, I'm going to show you the CPAP machine, the heating blanket, and a portable AC unit, because you can do all of these things with something that only weighs 17 pounds. You know, it's funny because I, I was telling you earlier, I used to make fun of my dad. 
dad because he had this whole backup system. But now, and you can ask my son, I have, my EcoFlow is it. I have a workout room in the back room with a washer and dryer, and that's where uh, my dog has her crate and stuff like that. In a corner, I have the EcoFlow in its bag. By the way, I didn't get the, I didn't get the backpack, which is cool. But I have my EcoFlow. I have about four days of canned goods, like, you know, things that we like, you know, SpaghettiOs, stuff, stuff that you, you know, whatever, you know, not, not the healthiest food, but stuff that we can eat. I have a box of rice. I have four gallon jugs of water, all in one little corner. And let me tell you, I live in Florida, all right, hurricane capital of the, of the planet, right? We get hurricanes all the time. We get floods all the time. And I was up in New England, and my dad had all that stuff. And we would get nor'easters, and we'd get bad snowstorms, but usually we were okay in the summer. But I, the point of my story is I sleep better at night just knowing, okay, if I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's hot in my house or it's cold in my house and I know the power is out and there's a storm coming, I know I can, A, have light, I can have electricity. I can get fans. I can't sleep without some air blowing on me so I can get a fan going. I can get my hot plate going. I can cook my food. I also have a little gas, a little tiny little propane gas, one burner little stove tube. That's from my camping days. I have that. Um, so I have that. But I can brush my teeth, I can wash, I can drink water, I have all that stuff, and it takes up a space that's not much bigger than this table right here. I don't have the solar panel, I still want to get a solar panel, I don't know why I haven't, I just forget when I get home. But you, you can get the solar panel today, and you can be prepared, especially if you're seniors and your kids are gone, maybe they move somewhere else, they're not going to come save you. And I know especially people like you, is that you want, to be able to, you want to be able to fend for yourself. There's nothing worse than getting older than losing the capacity to do things for yourself, right? This, this right here, that's, that's at the top of the list. Now I can, I can eat warm food, I can be warm, I can have lights, I can stay cool, I can do all those things. I don't have to go calling five different people. Come help me, come help me, come help me. I don't have to do that. This is a way to help yourself. You have 30 days to try it out. All right, and I encourage you, get it on, plug some stuff into it. Watch how cool it is, okay? As far as paying for it, I know it's not cheap. It's a generator. Good luck getting a gas generator for $449 or $649. And then don't forget, those have to be outside. You got to run a plug through the house. Now your house is open, right? It doesn't make sense. So get one of these, try it out for 30 days. If you don't love it, you can return it. We have a couple of ways that you can pay for this. If you want to pay for it all at once, you're, you're you know, chewing at the bit, and you're like, yeah, man, I want that thing. Pay the whole thing. Two options without the panel and with the panel. I think with the panel is a better deal. I didn't get it when I, I don't know if it was offered when I first bought mine. I've had mine for years. It may not have been available, which is my dumb excuse for not having one. But if you buy the $449.99 without the solar panel, you can pay on your credit card. There's your flex pay with and without the solar panel, 90 or 130. If you have an HSN credit card, if you don't have an HSN credit card, you get $50 today. That's part of our incentive to sign up. Today, 50, 40, I'm sorry. You get 40 bucks. Now, 12 month VIP without the solar panel is $37.49. 18 month VIP with the solar panel is $36.11. It's actually, what? It's a I'm trying to figure 37. It's about $1.25, $1.35 less to get the bigger version with the solar panel if you finance it. And remember, financing doesn't cost you a penny. It's all we're doing is taking the pie and, and cutting it in, into pieces and saying, pay one piece for one piece every month. That's it. And then you, hold, you have the whole pie, you've paid it off. And now, when a storm comes and you look out your window and everybody in the neighborhood is dark at night and you got lights in your house, then you can thank me or you can thank Justin because it makes a big difference. It makes you feel better. I put my head on my pillow every night knowing, hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case I'm prepared. And that's, that's a feeling you can't replicate, you can't buy that feeling. No, you can't. We, we often say, you know, we, we throw all the things out, peace of mind. I got to tell you, when you know that you have this at home, and then you now have an emergency. The first things that we're thinking about is we need food, we need water. This is one, la one less thing to think about. We always say, when is the best time to get prepared? It's not a week from now, it's today. 
Who thought that we would have a major storm that would knock out as much power that we saw it from Florida all the way to New York? Tornadoes, flooding, rain, blizzards up there, tornadoes down here. There are so many unexpected things. You start to expect the unexpected. You have to be prepared for those moments in time. Uh, and I think when we look at these River 2 Pros, remember when you invest in EcoFlow, especially with all of our newer batteries, it's a five-year warranty. Not only is it a five-year warranty, but you can have this for the next 10 years of your life without the battery starting to slow down. What I mean by that is, this is an LFP battery system, LifePo. That means zero to 100%. If we charge this once a day, we could do it every single day for the next 10 years before this battery started to slow down. That, compared to others, would be about 10 times longer. You're getting a newer technology. You're also getting that five-year warranty. And you're getting something that weighs 17 pounds. I want to show the bag really quickly because we've never done the bag before. And this is the first time that we're having this bundle. Typically, 99% of you always get the bundle simply because, well, when you think about it, I want to get the solar panel. But now, not only are you going to get the solar panel, you're going to get the bag. We talk about portability and managing this power. This is not just any backpack, and I don't ever really get to present the backpack, but this is a roll-top bag. And right here is a completely separate compartment where the uh, power station is going to live. So it just sandwiches right in here. You don't even need to open that. It's got a zipper right here as well, so you can access all of the ports without even opening the bag. And the bag itself, I use it without my power station all the time. It's that nylon, beautiful bag. So you even have that compartment on the very top. Really, really comfortable when you're carrying this around. And so now, when we talk about portability, this is probably the most portable power station that we've ever done, because you throw it in the bag, you take it with you, and then you're out on the campus. Think about that with a laptop. Maybe you're out on the balcony with it. You now have an easier way to carry it around. I'm gonna set this down really quickly because I want to show you all the different things. We talk about managing, but we need to manage our life. How many different things that you need to live? Well, we need to stay cool, we need to stay warm, and maybe for some of us, it's medical devices like a CPAP machine. Well, with a CPAP machine, is this the difference between going camping and not going camping? Uh, being able to enjoy going outdoors and not? So all I need to do is plug it in, Turn on my CPAP machine really quickly here. And now in two seconds, it's gonna to start to show me exactly how long it's gonna run the CPAP machine for. But remember, there's no guessing. You know, if this was a gas generator, one, we couldn't do it inside. Two, um, we'd eventually run out of gas and I'd be screaming over a gas generator. But it wouldn't tell me, hey, on a half a tank, it's gonna run my CPAP machine for X amount of time. So it's gonna to start to run and now it's gonna to start to actually calculate exactly how long it's gonna be able to run that CPAP machine for. So right now it's saying roughly about 11 hours. Once that CPAP machine starts to kind of continue to run, it's gonna to start to go up in time. But think about that. If it was one full night that you could make it through with a CPAP machine, you know how much these are? These CPAP machines? Like $700 to $1,000 yeah. for a CPAP machine. <laughs> how, about, how about a heating blanket? Okay, so we got medical devices. It's winter time. We want to stay warm. We got a heating blanket. I want to show you this really quickly. Just because it's larger, it's more demonstrable when you're thinking about, okay, all the different large things that we can plug in. Do you think about a window AC unit? You know, for a lot of us, we're always thinking about, all right, well, yeah, you know, a conventional home. Well, a lot of us are apartments, you know, uh, living in apartments. A lot of us live in condos, and they're not all the newest ones. It's not like it's central AC or central heat. There's window AC units. How are we going to be able to continue to stay cool during the summertime, whether we're in New York or in California? How many times are they turning off yeah. the power, telling us they're going to turn the power off in the middle of summer? Well, how, what are you going to do? Now you have an option, and now you have something you can feel in 17 pounds. It's still going to be able to run my portable AC unit, still be able to run my heating blanket, and do all this in my bedroom without having to worry about toxic fumes. And then, of course, when I need to recharge it, I take it out to the balcony. I use my solar panel in three and a half hours from zero all the way up to 100% with my solar. I have one of those air conditioners. Yeah. I have central air, but I bought one of those. You know why? Because the last time my AC went out, I had it. I bought, I was the penguin that we had a couple years, several years ago. Yeah. And my AC guy came over and he goes, I tell all my customers, get one of those portable AC units. You never know when your AC is going to go out. Your power is going to go out. You want to get a good night's sleep? And one of those little units will, will chill an entire room. Yep. And I, I'll tell you, it saved me when I was getting my AC fixed. Absolutely saved me. All right. So item number is 091023. It's time to order. You should have one of these. If, what is your plan? Power goes out, what is your plan? Cell phone? Uh, I'm out of power. You out of power? What are you going to do? Do you know how long it's going to be out? Don't worry about any of that stuff. If you can power yourself and get through two, four, six, eight, ten hours, all right, then you need to get this. It's easy. Look at it. 
You got four three-prong outlets right there. You got USBs up here. You got AC or DC. So you can plug all those things, even the three prongs, the grounded plugs that you have in your house, you can plug into there. And it's funny because things like an electric fry pan, those are three prong, right? Most of your, uh, your, uh, your portable AC, they're all grounded outlets. You're gonna be able to plug those in there. So you can decide, are we, gonna, are we just gonna get lost in a storm? Are we gonna merely just survive the storm? Or are we gonna thrive in a storm? This is not struggling. This is, okay, we shut down a couple of parts of the house, right? We don't need to use that bathroom. We don't need to do that spare bedroom. We bring this in and whether it's portable heat, portable AC, portable uh, fans, lights, in your kitchen, you wanna plug your microwave, toaster oven, I mean, you must have an air fryer. I mean, air fryers are great. Cook your food. Now you can cook your food. If you're smart enough to put away water, you can drink. You can, you can just, you can get through it in style. And that's what it's all about. You're not running around looking for a flashlight. You're not trying to light candles. And don't get me wrong, I make candles, I love candles. <laughs> but they're not enough to light your entire house. I like candles for ambiance. I don't like them for light, <laughs> all right? I use a flashlight if I need to, or I plug in a lamp, right? Because I can do that with mine. And it's funny, when I know, I don't know if you do this, Justin, when I know a storm is coming, I pull all this stuff out. I have it all oh, yeah. ready to go, man. And I, it's right on the, I don't know, like on my dining room table. And Danny's like, we're ready. I'm like, yeah, we're ready. We're good. Bring it on. As long as we don't get flooded, we can, we can survive and thrive at the same time. So for me, I, you know, I'm like, I could power up, I could live off of EcoFlow, I think, for like six months just yeah. off of all, just like without even solar. I've got so many power stations. Yeah. Storage, uh, just because we do so many different other live streams and shows, all the different just models that we have here. You know, we have different models. And that's one of the greatest things about what we do is that there's different sizes because we're all diff we all have different needs and we all have different necessities, whether it's for full home backup or we just know that we need to have something just in case because the just in case lives in the world that we all live in. We don't know when these things are gonna happen. I wanna show you, I got a light and a fan. It's those simple things, it's the creature comforts that we still enjoy that when they're taken away, we don't realize how much we depend on them. Like Guy was saying, do you really wanna break out candles? No, you wanna have your power station, your eco flow out, and then just plug in a light, and then just plug in a fan. And that's not 12 minutes, that's 12 hours with a light and a fan. 12 hours, again, that's not even with solar. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unplug the fan really quickly here. I'm gonna kind of detangle this for a second. I'm gonna walk over with the light plugged in. I wanna go ahead and walk over to the refrigerator because we talk about power outages. You know what? Could you do this with a generator? Could you carry it around, feel like, you know what, you're just gonna walk room to room with an actual lamp, okay? Now, when the lights go out, the thunder hits, you don't think, oh, God, that gut-wrenching feeling like, all right, we're just gonna be at the mercy of the power company. When, we'll get texts for when it's gonna be back on. I'm gonna set this down really quickly here. I'm gonna go ahead, come over to the refrigerator. I wanna open this up for you. How much money you got in your refrigerator right now? Have you been to the grocery store recently? Things aren't cheap. Price of everything continues to go up, yet EcoFlow becomes more and more affordable. Now if you've got food, now if you've got medicine, whether it's a primary refrigerator or secondary refrigerator, we take it right over here, we plug it in, and then in two seconds, now we're gonna continue to power up our refrigerator and we got our lights. So now the refrigerator's still on, the light's still on, and all the things that we love about life continue to go on, and we don't feel that gut-wrenching feeling. In a second, I'll walk over to the table and show you we can even cook our food, but it's about keeping things cool, necessity, food and water, and then be able to cook our food, because you know what? Guy, how many times do you think, ah, it's gonna be out of, we'll be out of power for five hours, so it's 10. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they'll say, the power will be back on tomorrow. Not a lot of us can just last 12 hours, no. eight hours, five hours of not having power, let alone two days. <clears throat> My buddy Dave uh, lives in Palm Beach, West Palm, and several years ago, and this is before we even had this here, several years ago, they had a bad storm, and the storm wasn't the hard part, it was the power outages. They, were, they went without power for like five or six days, and he was like, it's a nightmare. It's an, that, you know, no AC, no refrigeration, none of that stuff, no lights, and good luck trying to find that stuff, yeah. because it's everybody else has bought everything else out of the stores. <laughs> exactly. All right? And then, and then if, if, if power's out that long and you have flooding, nobody's getting to a gas station to refuel, to refuel all those, those generators you have. So honestly, I think this is the best deal. I love this for our, for our senior customer because I think versus the big, big, big unit that we have, those things weigh 50 pounds. It's kind of hard to move around if you're a senior. This only weighs 17 pounds, okay? 
It doesn't have quite as much power as the, as the big ones, but it's enough, like I said, to get you through those, those times where you need your refrigerator to run for six, seven, eight hours, right? You need your lights to run. And remember, you can recharge it. Very, very easy. You, can go, you go out to your garage and, you know, or your car, and you can start your car, and you can plug it into your car, and you can recharge it that way. If you get it with a solar panel, it never fails. After a hurricane, the front moves in, it's beautiful the next day. You still have no power, but it's beautiful. Put your solar panel out and charge this thing. How, how long does the solar panel take to charge? Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, full charge. If you have a place to plug it in, you know, maybe somebody a mile away has power, like I can drive over there and I'll plug it in. In 70 minutes, it's 100% versus the bigger ones, like the one I own, it only goes to about 80%. All right, because my, I have a bigger battery. So it's really about capacity, it's about price. This is one of the most affordable units that we sell. It, we are gonna put our clock up, and, I, and let me just warn you, forewarn you. If you want the one without the solar panel, Kyle, how many do I have left? 174, I have about six or 700 of the one with the solar panel. The one with the solar panel is more popular because it's cheaper every month if you go 18 month financing. It's $36 versus $37. So the one without solar panels, 37 for 12 months. The one with the solar is, is 36 for 18 months. No interest charge, no fees. Why pay for it all at once if you don't have to? If you want to, you can. If you want to use your credit card, those are your monthly payments right down there at the bottom of the screen. Fastest way to order is that little block of squiggly lines. It's called a QR code. It means quick response. Take your phone, turn on the camera, just hold it right in front of that little box. You'll see a little uh, yellow blob thing circle around it. It takes you right to HSN and you can order it. You have 30 days to try it. The warranty, I believe, is five years on this product. Five, five years. Five years. Who gives a five-year warranty for a battery? Not many companies, okay? The, the, but the thing about the people and, and the reason it's that, that you will see a better warranty on batteries, battery life and battery charging is a more reliable, mm -hmm. long-term way to charge things than a combustion engine without the maintenance. Because if you don't maintain a combustion engine, good luck getting a year out of it. It's not gonna last. I got a lawnmower. I gotta put oil in the dang thing. Yep. I gotta put gas in it. I gotta, I've got all the, that's why I went to, that's why I went to battery powered chainsaw. I don't, there's no, there's no fuss. I mean, it's so much easier. And that's why it, oftentimes you'll find battery powered things can be more expensive. Not only to say that, Better for the environment. And it's, e mean, it's easier. It's easier. You know, we, we, you know, we would do all the outdoor, you know, Sun Joe stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, when, I, when you know, my mail, I ended up giving a lot of it to my mailman and because he sure. was always seeing me. To, to put a battery on, because if you've never done lawn work before, sure. what you'd have to do to mix oil, to do all of these things, to get it and then just be pull crank and hoping that the thing's yeah. going to turn on, there's a bunch of moving parts. It's there's terrible. things that it's like, well, this, there's no moving parts. It's, it's, it is a battery, but it's not just a battery like a car battery, and it's not batteries that we've had in the past. It's the newest battery systems out there. In fact, it's one of the most sought after battery systems that are in this. That's why we have it as the River 2 Pro. Now, we've had River Pros. We've had River uh, Maxes. This is the River 2 Pro. This is the most powerful and newest power station that we have in the River line, okay? There's a, it's called LifePo. It's why it's five-year warranty, because it's not the lithium ion. It is a lithium phosphate battery. This is also, we've got it plugged in. I'm heating up this pan really quickly here. It's Curtis Stone. I believe this is gonna be the TS launching tonight. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, on an induction burner inside. How else are you gonna do what I'm doing without plugging it into a wall or plugging it into a generator? There's nothing moving in here. It, do you hear anything? It's whisper quiet. I can be literally, you know what you'd hear? You'd hear bacon cooking inside of the pan. You'd hear the food cooking inside of the pan. If this is gonna be able to cook for an hour, what does that mean for when you're cold inside of your home and you're continuously out of power? How about heating up soup, heating up food? So now I got lights and I got fan, I got my refrigerator, but now it's high wattage appliances. So I want you to see this. I'm, I, I don't if we can get a close-up. I want you to see this on the display. As I start to increase the power, you're going to start to see these the wattage right here. I'm actually going to drop it back down. You see the wattage right here? It's going to show me in real time the wattage as I start to increase the heat and the power from 500, now we're over 800. I'm gonna, can, can I continue? I'll get, let's see if we can reach 1,000 watts. I got it all the way up. And you notice it's converting all of it into time. Now we're over 1,000 watts, 1,020 watts. Now we got about a half an hour, we had about 45 minutes to be able to cook. Uh, again, how could you do this without an EcoFlow? 
You can't. And you know what? EcoFlow is not just a brand. They're the number one in this whole entire category of solar generators and power stations. Remember we talked about Thrive versus Survive? I love that. You know what Survive is in a storm? Beef jerky. <laughs> you know what Thrive is? Bacon and eggs. That's it. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You want to eat beef jerky with a, with, a, with a bucket of water? Or do you want to have bacon, eggs, and a cup of coffee? Is it even a question? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really what it turns out to be. I want steak and eggs. I am. Well, you can do all that. You get, if you get that, hey, hey by, by the way, I'll be on tomorrow with that fry pan with Curtis. I can't wait to launch that uh, in the morning with you guys. But listen, it's decision time. Get it home. If you want to get it with the solar panel on 18-month VIP financing with an HSN credit card, it's $36. If you want to get it without the solar panel, all right, you can get it without the solar panel for $37 for 12 months. So we give you more time to get the panel. Come on over, buddy. And this is another nice thing. At 17 pounds, he can carry it from point A to point B. He can put it in the backpack, take it with it. You could put it in the backpack and bring it to grandma's house if her power's out. So I got to tell you, my back, the backpacks, I use it every day. It's a freaking, it's the, the it's backpack sweet. alone is 100 bucks. <laughs> telling you. All right, we are very busy. Use Express Ordering. I thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you, Justin. No, love working with you. Could not do this without my friend Justin Hyatt uh, and EcoFlow. Um, I will be on tomorrow. Now that's clever. 8 a.m. Eastern Time. I can't wait to see you guys. We'll be streaming live on Facebook. Stick around because the amazing, talented, wonderful Emily is going to take you on the next step of your journey. Here's Emily. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guy. You are so sweet. I miss co-hosting with you. I hope that happens again soon, but I'm so grateful to all of you out there who are now joining us to shop for the next two hours. I'm super excited. My name is Emily Lampa.